Okay, hey guys. Um, today what I'm going to show you is how to get rid of your region issues with your Mac um, DVD drives. As everyone knows, they're locked to five changes, which means you can only change them back and forth between regions five times, then you're stuck on the last one. Now the first thing you should know is by um, flashing over your firmware on your DVD drive, it will void your warranty. So as far as I know, Mac will refuse to work on your computer once you have flashed your firmware. However, um, if you follow the steps, then you will have an unlocked region-free DVD player. So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to know is what type of DVD drive you have in your MacBook or MacBook Pro. So you go up to your About This Mac in the left-hand corner, and then go to More Info, and scroll down to where it says Disk Burning. And at the top, you'll find um, the type of drive you have, as well as its model number. So I have a Machida UJ. Um, 868 and it's, uh, you see the firmware there but this is the revised firmware because I've already patched mine. Um, once you know what type of drive you have you're basically going to need to go in and find the firmware patch for that particular drive. It's in two steps. So first you need to fi find your firmware patch to make sure that it exists and then you're going to need to download the software that will enable you to move back and forth between the different regions. So um, let me just show you where you can find the firmware patches because that was probably the most difficult part of um, figuring out how to do this. Now I found three different forums that were pretty helpful. The first one is this French site. Um, and I'll post the links at the bottom of this podcast. But um, if you scroll down here to the bottom of this thing here, it lists all of the Macs like going pretty far back. So it lists starting with the PowerBooks and then all the way down to fairly recent ones. And as you can see, a lot, most of them are the Machida drives, even the newer ones are Machida, but there's a few LG ones in there. And I'm not gonna show you how to do an LG flash. Um, if you want to know how to do that, you can um, go to this link here and it will tell you how to, um, how to flash the firmware for an LG. Now, um, the firmware that you're gonna want for a newer MacBook is gonna be in this form which is the newer form, and you can find it by Googling um, Machita Patch Firmware Thread New um, or any variation on that, and you should be able to find it, but I'll post this link, like I said, at the bottom. If you have an older MacBook, you might want to try this um, this forum, which is Machita Apple uh, RCB1. It has a lot of the older ones. Uh, it starts from Machita UJ825 and goes um, all the way down to about... 857D, which is where this one picks up at. So you scroll down to find your firmware, and I'm looking for a Machida 868, which is this one here. And so I need to go ahead and download it. Save it. Okay. And then I'm going to need to go and download the software that's going to allow you to um, to test your region player as well as um, move back and forth. So you need to go to um, region, or actually you need to go to DVD info first, DVD um, info X. And it's this first page here. And my internet seems to be going slow. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to download it, and I'll show you just real quickly how to do this. So you save it, and then once it's saved, you're going to want to go in here to where you've downloaded it to, and my downloads it's here, and extract it. So it's in a zip file. And once it's extract, oh, it didn't extract the first time. Let's try it again. Okay, that time it worked. Um, once it's extracted, um, go ahead and open it, and you can see what your um, what your drive is, because it just tests your drive basically. And for mine, you're going to see that it says region free here because I've already cracked mine. Um, and the only difference is, is mine before said it had a different firmware for one, but it also said how many changes I had left. So it said something like four changes, and actually it was like two changes left or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this now. But, um, you'll need to open it up again later. Um, you're also going to need the region X, which allows you actually to move back and forth between the different um, regions you want. So you can do it by Googling region X and going to this thing and going to download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it. Um, but then you're going to need the, um, the flash. 
the firmware flash. And there's one provided for you in this forum here, which is the newer forum. And basically you're gonna go in here and download this one here and download. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. Now once you've got your tester, your um, region X, and your firmware and your flash are all downloaded, you're gonna go into your downloads and you're gonna make sure they're all been extracted and opened up. Um, extract. Extract. Now, once you've extracted them, basically what you need to do is, um, this is your flasher here, and what you wanna do is drag your, drag your firmware into this flasher. So you'll do that by opening up your firmware, and what you wanna drag in is the RCP1 data, this one is uh, kind of like a default um, refurb for if something goes wrong, then you can use that one, but you need the RCP1. So you need to take it and drag it into your flasher. And it's going to open up terminal and give you a yes or no command on whether or not you want to continue. And it would be pointless for me to do mine because I've already done it once, but you would just hit yes and then enter and it would then start. And the process takes about, I don't know, anywhere from a minute to probably two minutes to flash your firmware over to the new patch. Um, mine didn't do it the first time. It uh, for some reason failed, and so I ran it again, and then it, it worked the second time. So if it doesn't work the first time, you might want to try it again. Now, once it's um, once the patch has worked, you want to go in and test it. So you want to go to your um, DVD Info X and open it to test it to see if it's unlocked. But um, beyond that, you want to go into your applications and open up your um, Region X, which is the software that allows you to move back and forth between the different regions. So um, once you've opened it, you can basically, it's pretty straightforward, click on the region that you want to switch back and forth from. Now it says changes left here, but that really doesn't mean anything because you can switch to whatever you want and keep it on um, however many, obviously. So um, once you've clicked on the region you want, you just hit OK, and then you put in the, um, the disk that you want to run on that particular region. And you pretty much got a region-free um, DVD player. So this is how you hack the um, Metsheeta drives for the MacBook Pro and I wish you luck and hope this was helpful.